Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about why I decided to delete my three day fast video. And if you guys didn't get to view that video before it got deleted, basically it was a video I did two to three years ago about a three day fast that I did. And my motives for doing the fast back then were to heal any digestive issues I was dealing with and to get rid of any toxins or bad bacteria that might have been contributing to binge eating for me. And I guess my motives for deleting it now is because I think there's a lot less harmful ways and restrictive ways that we can go about binge eating. And even though that video brought a lot of traffic to my channel, it was my most viewed video, I didn't think it was for the right reasons or that it was spreading the right message. I'd much rather gain subscribers and viewers for authentic reasons and reasons that are true to me and what I believe in. So now that I got that cleared out of the way, I guess this video is going to be about things I mentioned in that video and kind of how I feel towards them now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. In the video, I mentioned that I needed to distract myself to stop thinking about food and the hunger pants I was getting. And when I think of that now, it honestly makes me sad because I truly thought that more restriction was going to be my answer to healing myself from binge eating. But now I know that more restriction was never the answer and it never will be. You can't heal yourself from binge eating by restricting more or going on another diet. You heal yourself from binge eating by fueling your body and eating as much as you need whenever you need and letting go of all food rules and all diets. And I don't care how much you convince yourself it's not a diet. If it has food rules, it's a diet. And also I was getting super cold all day and I needed to take like three baths a day and there's actually science behind it that your thyroid hormones downregulate when you're fasting because your metabolism actually slows down to conserve energy because your body doesn't know when you're going to be fed again. Your body thinks you're starving because you are. That's what fasting is. Like You can't kid yourself into thinking it's not. I also mentioned in the video that I felt much more productive when I wasn't constantly worrying about eating all day. And to be honest, I remember back then, even when I wasn't fasting, I was constantly worrying about food or fighting the urge to eat. And now I can honestly say that I don't think about food unless I'm hungry. And when I'm hungry, I can't focus very well because our bodies need fuel. And not only our bodies, but our brains. Even if we're just lying in bed all day, our brain needs approximately 120 grams of glucose just to lie in bed and do nothing all day. That's not encountering like any of the activities we do. So our bodies need a lot more fuel than we even think they do. And after the fast, I had a coach get me into powerlifting and I remember feeling really weak during our first workout. But I also remember liking the results from the fast and being addicted to the leanness I got from it. And that's why I urge you, if you're struggling right now with an eating disorder or you have a past of an eating disorder or you're in recovery, I urge you to stay away from fad diets, any diets or anything that resembles a diet because your eating disorder never has your health in mind. I don't care if you think you're doing it for health reasons. Recovery will always be healthier than any diet you'll ever choose. And last but not least, I was reading through some of the comments and it honestly broke my heart because it was all people like me that were struggling and that were like, thank you so much, I'm going to try this, I hope it works for me too. People as young as 11 years old and other people saying that they were going to do it because they indulged too much during a holiday. And then people congratulating me for going through with the whole thing. It honestly made me sad to read and... This is what pushed me to do this video because I wanted to show you guys the real way to recover and that you guys can do it too. I honestly wish that when I was struggling, I would have seen a video like this that would have told me, this is not the answer you're looking for. A diet, another fast, this is not the way to heal from an eating disorder. Food isn't meant to be a punishment. Eating isn't weak. Restricting isn't strong. What's strong is fighting the voice of your eating disorder. And I honestly wish I would have learned this years ago, but I 
honestly think that I was meant to go through all of this so that you guys can see this and learn from this and avoid going through the mistakes that I went through. So if you're watching this and this resonates with you, please share this, comment, subscribe, like, so that other people can see this and get the healing and recovery that they need. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much. Bye.